and welcome to another edition of Book Beat. Joining us on the show is one of America's most prolific and popular mystery writers. He's here today to promote his latest book called Murder on the East India Trader. He is author Jacob Kane. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's, it's great to be here. It really is. Start out by saying that I loved your book. You really had me guessing the entire time. Well, that's what I was going for. Like about halfway in, when you revealed that the one-eyed man was really a woman. Uh, um, oh, but, but when it turned out that Doctor and Mrs. Uh, Larson weren't really husband and wife. You could stop right But please, they were brother right and there, sister. Ah, you could have knocked me over with a feather. <laughs> you know, I would appreciate. But you know something? It if you didn't... At the end of the book, I was confused oh. about one thing. What? Well, is it pronounced? Charu or Charu? Don't say that. Don't say that. Shh. I'm talking about the real murderer. Is it Charu or Charu? <laughs> Char or Sha? Oh, gosh, it's such a difficult name. Why don't we put that up on the screen there? See, you really can't tell how to say it. Right. So right. why don't you enlighten us here? How do you say that name? Charu. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take a call. Hello, caller. Hi. Uh, great show, Mr. Kane. I love your books. I was wondering, in paging Dr. Murder, why did you have Rostelli the juggler turn out to be the murderer? Good question, caller. What is wrong with you people? Okay, I think what the it's caller is getting at is that when one reads your books, you always make us think someone else other than the real killer is the killer. Well, that's why they're called mysteries. Oh, in <laughs> fact, in fact, I actually had to make up a chart to keep up with the plot twist in your oh, book. So, if you could bring please. that in. Okay. Don't do yeah. this, please. Okay, okay. I'm begging you, hold, don't do this. Hold that but, thought. Now, okay, see here in Murder on the Dinner Train, I thought oh the killer gosh. was Melvin the Camp Cook, when in fact it turned out to be oh. the Virgin Governess. <laughs> Who would have thought? And then in Lights, Camera, Murder, I was sure the murderer was Eric, the quiet intern, but it was actually Steve. Steve, the gay director. That was my best book. That was my best book. Oh, well, unfortunately, darn it, we don't have time to go through the entire chart here. Thank God. Uh, which is why we've put it up on our website at <laughs> www.jacobkanekillers.com. You have ruined me. You now, ruined my career. Okay, before you... we go, are you working on a new book? Come on, you can tell us. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, it's called uh, With This Ring, I D Kill. And uh, there's a number of plot twists and a number of red herrings. And after that, uh, the murderer turns out to be Brenda, uh, the bridesmaid. Great! Now I don't have to buy the book. Yeah, neither does anybody else. <laughs> okay, well, next week on the show, we'll have author Lori Baker, who will talk about her new book, The Secret to a Perfect Marriage. Turns out it's communication. <laughs> See you then. I hope you die. <laughs>